Hi, I'm Marta Waller. I'm here with Dr. Joe Horosti. How are you doing? Good. Good it's to see you. It's time for a little chat, and again with Lindsay Lohan, uh, very, very low profile recently at uh, no birthday party, a uh, very quiet evening with, of all people, Kim Kardashian, who coincidentally is very, very close with uh, Lindsay Lohan's new attorney, not quite attorney of record, but rumored new attorney, uh, Robert Shapiro of uh, sort of the O.J. Simpson, the original dream team, and uh, interesting that this would be her choice. Right. Um, well, I'm not sure if a lot of people are aware of the fact that Robert Shapiro is someone who really has suffered a great deal and who's gone through tremendous personal pain and trial and tribulation related to the loss of his own son at age 24. Brent Shapiro uh, died following a uh, what was initially thought to be a drug overdose in November 2005. But in fact, the truth of the matter is that he had been sober for 18 months. He had straightened his life out. He was planning to follow in his father's footsteps, go to law school. He had a promising, bright future. He was a straight-A student mm -hmm. at USC. And this was right after the USC-Arizona game. And what happened is that someone gave him a half a tablet of ecstasy which he combined with uh, one or two beers. He was, he, it, this was by no means an overdose. I think in retrospect what happened is that he was allergic to some ingredient in that ecstasy, ecstasy tablet. And again, since ecstasy is an illegal drug, we don't know what, we, what he really took. He thought it may have been ecstasy. But in any event, he had projectile vomiting and soon afterwards went into a coma. He was taken to Cedar sinai where he was placed on life support and never recovered from that coma. So it was a tr just an incredible tragedy. So people who think, oh, he overdosed because of drugs and whatever, they don't know half the story. So my heart really goes out to Robert Shapiro. He's a man who has lived it, who suffered, and who has tried to do something uh, to make Brent's life meaningful. And toward that end, he started the Brent Shapiro Foundation, uh, which is uh, for uh, alcohol and drug awareness. And he has also started a sober living center known as uh, Pickford Lofts. And my understanding is that uh, Lindsay Lohan has agreed to enter that rehab. And also she has agreed to, and again, this is rumor, it has not been confirmed, that Robert Shapiro will be her attorney of record who will help her with, res uh, with respect to the rest of her uh, legal problems related to the previous, uh, the two DUIs, where she's now facing 90 days uh, in jail followed by 90 days in rehab. I believe that Robert Shapiro will try to convince a judge uh, at the hearing on the 20th and Tuesday uh, that in fact it would be in Lindsay's best interest to go into rehab since she has already entered it, she has shown a willingness, uh, rather than have her going to um, jail first and then into rehab. Well, you know, you and I discussed and, and have been discussing that when she was first sentenced to 90 days in jail, that to give her two weeks to ostensibly get her affairs in order, finish her, her job, could be very disastrous because this is a girl who, whether she has mental health problems, addiction problems, alcoholism, she's still in a, a fragile state of mind because yes. she was so convinced that she would mm -hmm. never go to jail, there would never be a sentence, mm -hmm. that she could be a danger to herself. Yes. And with prescriptions, active prescriptions for Adderall, Dilaudid, and, and whatever else, this could potentially be very dangerous to herself. And now, Robert Shapiro is there and has taken her under his wing and has sort of guided her into this sober living facility where she is undoubtedly not going to be allowed to stay there because she is going to have to go after her jail sentence into a, a sort of a lockdown facility, a rehab facility for 90 days after her jail sentence, whatever that turns out to be. But this is sort of a different situation. I know Robert Shapiro. I know him from the O.J. Simpson trial. And this is a man who really does care about his clients. Uh, Kim Kardashian has now sort of come into the mix as well. And her father, uh, the late Robert Kardashian, was very, very good friends with Robert Shapiro. And she has, uh, he has, uh, Shapiro has, uh, you know, help finance some businesses for 
Kim Kardashian, and she's now also helping Lindsay. And uh, I think this is, you know, a much better influence. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kardashian sisters, for all of the, you know, the uh, flamboyance uh, of this group of girls, you don't see them in trouble. You know, we right. don't see headlines of mm -hmm. drinking and driving and drugs. I mean, these are mm -hmm. girls who, they work very hard. I mean, it seems it's all beauty-based and superficial, but these are girls who work very hard. Yes. And they yes. don't get in trouble. Yes, yes. And I think that, you know, we see them now being sort of steering her yes. and maybe protecting her and this sober living facility maybe will yes. protect her from herself. Well, exactly. As, as you know, Marta, we had talked about this on July 7th, which was a day after mm -hmm. her hearing in front of uh, uh, Judge... Um, uh, Marsha Ravel. Marsha Marcia Ravel, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, Marsha okay. Ravel. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Judge Ravel, if you're watching us. Uh, Judge Ravel, uh, she appeared in your courtroom on July 6th, and on the 7th, uh, right. Marta and I had discussed uh, the case. And by the way, I salute uh, Judge Ravel's decision to really... Uh, take a firm stand here uh, because, I, uh, because I totally agree that Lindsay needed someone to get the message across to her because she was in total denial that she needed to have uh, someone get the message across. She needed a wake-up call. Now, as I said before, she was facing two DUI charges. I can certainly understand the judge's decision to give her the 90 days in jail uh, for that uh, and then followed by 90 days uh, in rehab. However, uh, since the two week uh, has almost expired since that time, my understanding is that Lindsay has really made some changes in her life. For one thing, she did not go to that birthday party, which was highly publicized right. uh, at Las Palmas on July 7th, which she had intended to do. Uh, she was uh, very defiant and initially, uh, I, I guess, made some unkind remarks about her experience in court. Um, also the, uh, the fingernail painting, and again, I can accept the fact that you know, perhaps uh, it was not directed at the court, uh, that it was something that she did for other reasons. Again, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. But bottom line is that she did not go to that birthday party at Las Palmas. She did not get drunk. Her mother came in the next day on the 7th. Uh, Kim Kardashian became involved in her life and I think convinced her to perhaps consider uh, working with Robert Shapiro. Uh, and I think she's taking things seriously. She has entered uh, a uh, sober living facility, the one I mentioned, uh, Pickford Loft, which was started by Robert Shapiro. It is again a very uh, highly regarded uh, sober living. Uh, anything that Robert Shapiro puts his mind to and something that he really puts his heart and soul into is going to be excellent. However, Lindsay will need more than that at the time of her, um, uh, when the sentencing comes. However, I would like to make a plea to the judge that Again, as an addictionologist and as a psychiatrist, I do not think that jail is the proper way to treat someone with a drug or alcohol problem or a psychiatric uh, disorder, which I think Lindsay has probably both, although I'm not treating her and I want to make that clear. But if she has shown that she is willing to receive the help that she needs, I think we could probably forego the jail sentence and just follow through with a very strict and structured rehabilitation program, and it could be six months in a locked facility where she cannot leave, where she has to follow the rules, where she will have to do exactly what is required of her. Uh, I don't think that she needs the experience of jail to get the message across. I think she is getting the message. And the locked facility for six months could be the equivalent yes. of the 90 days in jail yes. and the 90 days in a rehab facility. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have now, but we'll have more coming up next time. So okay. until then, I'm Marta Waller. I'm Dr. Joe Harasti. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.